Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a picture lookup. So in this example we would like to return the associated country's flag when a specific country is chosen from cell D2 here where we have a drop down list. So the flag that is shown is dependent upon the entry in cell D2, it depends on that cell, that list. So when I choose Japan for example, I want it to return the Japanese flag from the list on the left. Now this list on the left could quite easily be on a different sheet or a different uh, book and also this drop down list, you know the data that comes back, it doesn't have to be a list. This could be calculated by some formula or just typed in. This is just the way that this example is set up. You can still create this picture lookup uh, in the way I demonstrate here or in even other ways. But to look at this, now we can't just create a V lookup in cell E2 as it would be here. We can't just do it with a standard V lookup. We're going to need to be a little bit more clever than that. What we're going to do is we're going to use uh, some lookup functions and I'm going for the index and match here uh, but this could quite easily be VLOOKUP but rather than write it inside the cell we're going to write it within a defined name so first of all let's look at doing that I'm going to go to the formulas tab and to define name about halfway along there I'm going to create a name which I'll call flag pick because it's going to return the picture of the flag but at the bottom in the refers to, we're going to write our formula in here. So I'm going to write the index function. Open in bracket. <clears throat> now you're not seeing much assistance here because when you write a function within a feature, like data validation or conditional formatting, then you don't get any help. So normally if I was writing this in a cell, I'd be getting some assistance pop up uh, asking me what it needs. But I don't get that right now. But index will be asking you for the, the range to return something from. So I'm going to provide it with cells uh, B2 down to B5 here on the sheet. An absolute reference. Look at that in list of flags. Comma. So now it won't be asking me what row shall I return from in that list of, in my case, five flags. Now that we don't know, it's dependent upon the entry in cell D2, which currently says Japan as it happens. So I'm just going to enter the match function here to go and find the row number for us. And I'm going to ask the match function to look for whatever is entered in cell D2, comma, where should it look for the entry? In range A2 to A5, look inside that range tell me what cell Japan's in. That's currently in the third cell so it will get the associated cell from the other index will get the associated cell from the other column. And then I'm going to put comma zero for an exact match close in bracket for the match function close in bracket for the index function and click OK. And that will create that defined name. So now I have a name that has the index match to find the associated cell depending on the entry in here. Now I need to tie it in with the picture of our flag. So I've just inserted a normal picture here. I actually just copied and pasted the, the German flag. So I've got this German flag there at the moment. I'm going to click on the picture to select it and then in the formula bar reference my defined name. So I'll type equals flag pick. And we can see the name pop up in a little list here as we go. I can carry on typing or I can press my tab key or double click the entry. But how if we enter it, if I then press enter to confirm that, it returns the Japanese flag. But as I go to my list in cell D2 and switch that, I now have a drop down list. Then when an entry is chosen, I have a picture lookup. Uh, it will return the associated flag for that country. So I hope that sounds okay. I hope that makes sense and you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please check out some of our other tips and tricks 
at our YouTube channel, Computer Gaga, or at ComputerGaga.com.